Carol, line one, two, three, four, five, six. Line six. Um, I was calling. I wanted you to say more about the shopaholic slash overspending. I've gotten to the place where I'm not actively charging up my cards, but I know that I should be spending all my disposable income, applying it to those balances to reduce them. But more often than not, I'm not doing that. And well, of course it. not. Of course <laughs> not. Because once you got it, you don't. You think that's over and done with. And there's nothing a shopaholic hates more than actually paying off the bills. Yeah. No, no, that does not go along with the shopaholic because it's like you don't expect me to take all this fresh money and pay for something. They resent having to pay for their toys. It's a resentment. It's like, you you expect me to pay for this? Mm. It's like it's like giving money back to someone once you borrow it. It's like, no, 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 no. I You don't understand. I have bills that I have to pay now, and I can't pay those for stuff. And so they tell themselves, I have to apply this money to something more practical, like my electricity and food and this and that, except that they spend it on the way to the electricity. Yeah. That's how it. That's how a shopaholic thinks, right? Yeah. You know, that's it. That's that's the nature of this archetype. And and the and the thing about it is, it comes from this feeling of, but I, I need to be in charge and make myself feel better right now, and this is something because I don't like the way the rest of my world is, and this makes me feel good right now. It's not about nurturing. It's about control over feeling good and feeling angry at the rest of the world. Really? Yeah. It's got a lot to do with it. Or, or feeling like what, some people feel that way. Some people feel like I'm entitled to do this because that's not working in the rest of my world. But this is. I can do this. What motivates you? I don't, I'm not in touch with any anger. Uh, might feel some entitlement. Just well, because. then you go the entitlement route. Okay. Okay. And what what's the root of your entitlement? If I had to guess, I'd say I, I grew up in a lower middle class family. I mean, uh -huh. I didn't have all the cool stuff that everybody had at school. In the you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so once I was out and grown and working, I, I certainly did feel like I was rewarding myself for all the things okay. I didn't have. Okay, but did it? Did you, were you angry that you didn't have all that cool stuff when you were a kid? If I was, I wasn't in touch with it. I don't remember feeling that way, but that's okay. possible. You know, there's a sense of now it's my turn. Yeah, I didn't feel like that. Okay, well, that's it. That's what I'm talking about. It's, it may not be overt anger, like I'm going to just throw things, but it's a kind of like I have to compensate for what yeah. I didn't have then. Yes. So there you go. That's it. Whew. Okay. Okay, and and the only thing is, you're going to create a you, you create a real suffering for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, because there's nobody around from your childhood to say, "Oh, look, you're as good as we are now." And there there's a part of the tape that runs from then. Ooh. Mm -hmm. You see? Do you hear? Did that touch a nerve? Yeah, it did. Okay, then it goes into this. This is what's really true, Carol. Every single one of us, every one of us, our greatest wound from childhood is the first time we were humiliated. And that wound, the fear of being humiliated, is the, is the core fear in every single human being. I don't want to be humiliated again. And whatever humiliated us, whatever it was, feeling that we don't have the same stuff as someone else or feeling that we're not as smart as someone else or whatever it is, I don't care what it is, it's something for all of us. And each of us it's different, but the wound is the same. That becomes a critical symbol for us in our lives. I will never, ha I will never be without this again. I will always be able to give myself this again, whatever it is it becomes a critical symbol that we have to have or do or become. You know, I'll never let someone um, outsmart me again. Do you, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it is. And what it's symbolic of is I'll never be humiliated again. Wow. Okay. 
I feel that. Yeah, yeah, of course you do, because that's every one of us has one of those things, honey. Everyone. For some people, it's measured, and I've got to have a dis- I got to have the the right outfits and the right that so that that I I look as good as. For other people, it's I've got to be smarter than everybody. Or the other, I've got to be thinner than everyone. Whatever it is, there's a there's a there's a thing in every single person, and if you track it, it it's the root. That's their root humiliation wound. Mm, that's powerful. Oh, okay. Okay, Thank baby doll. Thank you very much. You got it, honey. Bye-bye. Okay, big kiss.